Okay, this is lesson 2.1, and in this video we're going to split into three parts. The first part is going to be how to find a midpoint, the second part is going to be how to find a median, and the third part is going to be how to find a right bisector. So we're going to start with the first part, midpoint. So what's a midpoint? Well, midpoint is the point directly between two other points that's on the same line. Um, to come up with the midpoint equation, uh, it has some aspects from slope, um, so I just want to quickly go over what slope is again. Slope on a graph between two points compares the rise to the run. And the way we do that mathematically is if we can count the rise and the run on the graph, we do that. If we can't count the rise and the run, we use the coordinates of our two points, and we use the equation y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. <clears throat> our two points will have two different y's and two different x's. And we use those x1, x2, y1, y2 to come up with the value for our slope, our m, by using the formula y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. To find the midpoint, we use the coordinates of our two points again, but we use them in a different way. Because instead of looking for the steepness of this line, we're actually looking for the point in the middle, which would be half of the rise and half of the run. And the way we do that is, well, on a graph, let's draw it. Let's say we have the same two points. And we wanted to find a point in the middle. And I'm going to label that point M for the midpoint. We've got our first point, which has an x1 and a y1. And we've got our second point, that has an x2 and a y2. If we want the coordinates of m, say we want an x and a y of our midpoint, m, the way we can find that is, well, we have to look for the x that's right in the middle of these two x's. And the way we do that is, well, we find the average. We take the first x value, we add the second, and we divide by 2. So if you want the x from the midpoint, the way you find it is you look for the middle of these two numbers. The middle would be the average. If this is 1 and that's 7, we would add them, get 4, divide by 2. Sorry, add them, get 8, divide by 2, and get 4. And the x part of the midpoint would be 4. And we do the same with the y's. We take y1, we add y2, and we divide by 2. You're just finding the middle of the x's and the middle of the y's. Why do we need to know how to find the midpoint? Well, we use the midpoint when figuring out what the median and the right bisector are. What's a median? Well, you're about to find out in the part two of the video. What's a right bisector? You're going to find out in part three. But before we do that, I need to make sure we can figure out the midpoint. So let's do an example of midpoint. Find a midpoint. There are two hospitals located at point A, 35, point B, 11.14 on a map. The city wants to build a new ambulance station halfway between the two hospitals. Determine the coordinates of this location. Well, we want to find the midpoint. And to find the midpoint, we need an x and a y. And to find the x and the y, we're going to take x1, add x2, divide by 2, and we're going to take y1, add y2, and divide by 2. <clears throat> the reason I've written it like this is because this is basically just a big coordinate. This is going to be our x, this is going to be our y, we're going to do two parts at once. Where do our x1, x2, y1, y2 come from? Well, they come from our points. Just like for slope. Here's our x1, here's our y1. Here's our x2, here's our y2. So let's plug them in and see where we're at. X1 is 3, X2 is 11, divided by 2. 
y1 is 5, y2 is 14, divide by 2. And we just have to do a little bit of math. 3 plus 11 is 14, 14 divided by 2 is 7. And 5 plus 14 is 19, 19 divided by 2 is a decimal, so I'm just going to leave it as 19 over 2. You don't like decimals, 9.5 is okay as well. So, since it's a word question, we should have a word answer. Therefore, the ambulance station should be located at 7 and 19 over 2. And that's how we find a midpoint. Thanks for watching part one. Be sure to watch part two, finding a medium.